Hi. Howdy. How are you guys? Can you all tell me your names? Cora. Cora? Yeah, Lavender. Lavender. And you are, I can read your Sylvia. Good. My name is Paul. I think, are we ready to start, Shiloh? I think we're ready. Yeah, okay. thank you for being patient waiting for us all to get here. No worries. My name is Paul, and I'm a sometimes children's book author, mostly for fun. <laughs> and I wrote this book called Reese the Blind Dachshund. And it's a true story. And I'll show you later why it's true, because we're going to have a special guest after we read the book. So what I'll do is I'll read the book and then if you guys want to have, if you guys have questions, I can answer questions. So I typically go like this and if you can't see, just tell me or you can't hear me, please just tell me, okay? Reese the Blind Dachshund, a true story. I gotta get to the first page. <laughs> Reese was born in Louisiana. We don't know much about that part of her life, but what we do know is that she ended up in an animal shelter and then eventually on a bus headed north. Oh. Mm-hmm. Can you see the picture? That, that. She's in that. Guess which one is Reese? <laughs> Very good. The middle one's easy. Yes. After traveling many long miles, she spent her first night in a new shelter close to our family in the state of Maine. She had a lot of noisy neighbors who were also hoping to find a new home. Where am I coming out home? See her in the. I don't she, know. She's still the one in the middle. Mama fell in love with this scared little dachshund at first sight. I think that's my favorite picture of Reese in the. Can, I see? Yeah, can you see that? I see the little dog. Can you see? Our house was full, but Mama felt we had more room in our hearts, and she wanted to adopt a little dog. She made a trip to the animal shelter, and a shy little dachshund named Reese simply stole her heart. The kind person working at the desk said it would be best to take her home right away, just in case someone else came in and wanted to adopt her. Mama really wanted to make sure her family was okay with it before she brought this sweet little dog home. You can see Mama at the adoption center. It's the end of day. I might have to switch this one, I'm sorry. Most of the family loved the idea of adoption. Dad was still a little nervous about how a new family member would fit into their busy and full life. Mama headed back to the shelter early the next day. Unfortunately, someone ahead of her in line wanted to adopt Reese. She just needed to introduce the little dachshund to her dog. Mama was heartbroken. She told the helpful front desk person she would be in, out in her car, just in case. You can see over here. <laughs> Mama was sad. She waited in her car. Wait, wait, she went to her car and waited, not daring to hope. Suddenly, the kind woman from the shelter tapped on her window. The other person had changed her mind about the adoption. Reese was still available. Let's see her sad in the car over here. Reese moved into her new home on a, with us on a wintry main day. She had probably never seen snow before. She did not like the icy weather, but it was warm in the house. She cozied up with her new family. We were all very excited to meet her. Only Dad was still not sure how he felt about this new addition to the family. Let's see this one here. <laughs> like a little puppy. Maybe. Yes, this is me. Look, I'm wearing the same shirt, it looks like. 
Reese began to settle into her new life. It did not take long for our family to realize that she was special. She did not behave like other dogs we knew. She didn't fetch or play, and she kept bumping into things. Let's see on this one here, she's bumping into the wall. And that seems like my dog. <laughs> Is your dog bumping into things? Yeah, and he doesn't really play anything. Mm. Well, our dogs are something in common. Mama took Reese to the veterinarian and told him, we think Reese may not be able to see very well. The veterinarian waved his hands in front of Reese's face and got no reaction. He checked her eyes. Reese was mostly blind and would eventually lose all of her sight. Let's see over here at the veterinarian. That changed everything. We now understood why Reese was different. Blind dogs need extra help. She would walk right into the cats. She could not go downstairs by herself. You can see her bumping into the cat. The cat would always go boop, right on her face. Two cats. You see that better? That's one of my favorite pictures in there. Reese loved being outside. But she could not go for walks like other dogs who could see. She ran into things. Reese needs help with some things, but there are so many things that she can do and enjoy on her own. She loves to roll in the grass on a warm summer day. Same like my dog. Who doesn't like to roll in the grass? Reese loves to run in safe places. The beach is her favorite, even though she runs in circles. <laughs> Reese loves to take naps on the couch. Dad gradually warmed up to Reese and often takes naps with her. <laughs> Every day. Reese is full of love and fits perfectly into our family. She loves to snuggle everywhere she can. Mm -hmm. Reese has lots of family and has made many friends. She is a special dog and is very well loved. When people first meet Reese and learn she is blind, they often frown and say, that is so sad. Reese is not sad. She can feel the love around her and shares it back. We are so happy that Reese joined our family. The end. This just says a little bit about me and why I wrote the book, which, you know what, why don't I go get her yeah. and you guys can ask questions and I can tell you why I wrote the book, because I wrote it for a reason. You guys want to wait here for just one second? Excuse me. You see behind the camera, we see? This is Reese. As you can see, she's pretty old, but she's very, very happy. And I wrote this book because one, I thought it was a really fun story. Don't you think it was a fun story? Um, and also I wrote it because um, it's a charity thing. We, w all the money that we make from the book goes to an organization called Guiding Eyes for the Blind, which is, um, they uh, help train um, guide dogs. Um, seeing eye dogs is similar, but it's, they're a different organization, but guide dogs, you see sometimes people need help with the visually impaired and they'll have a dog travel with them. Guiding Eyes for the uh, Blind is an organization that trains those dogs. And I wrote the book to help raise money for them. So 
Plus, it was kind of a fun story. Great story. What's that? Yes, you can. What, you guys want to come up and pet her? Um, you can. Just come up and maybe come up and give her a little pat and say hi to Reese. You can come up and say hi. Say hi, yeah. Oh, you guys are so gentle. That's so awesome. Thank you. I'm really gentle to dogs. You are? That's My good. My dog just like running in the house a lot. Oh, yeah? Well, she likes to run, but she just keeps bumping into things. She keeps bumping into things. Yeah, because she can't see. Imagine if you closed your eyes and ran around in your house, what would happen? Let's not give her a gift. <laughs> <laughs> I got run into Dad. <laughs> you probably would. He probably would. It kinda has happened. <laughs> yeah. How doesn't she see really well? She can't see at all. You can see one of her eyes. We don't know why she's... How old is she? Yeah. Well, we're not sure because she's adopted, as you know from the story. I am three. You're three? She's more like, we think, 15 or 16. I'm five. You're five? She's a lot older than all you guys right now. We've had her for a while. Yeah, I was looking at pictures of her and she was like me. My hair was a different color and, <laughs> you know, it's funny how that happens. And, um, yeah, it's kind of a blur, but around 2006, my boys were still in middle school and they're in college now. So, um, yeah, she's been a part of our family for a while. She's very comfortable. Her head is very soft. Yeah, I can tell. You know how I can tell she's happy because I can feel if she's shaking or not. She seems to be happy with you guys. That's a good thing. I know. Why is her eyes so gray? That's part of her. It's a cataract, it's called, and it's not anything we can do to fix it. Mm hmm. She loves to sniff. Matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll let her walk around a bit. She probably wants to explore. We can just see where she goes. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. I'm over here. Come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. There yeah, you go. Yep. She listens to little commands. Over here, pretty girl. Good girl. Yes, 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 yes. Good girl. You're a good girl. Yes, good girl, Reese. <laughs> now she just wants to walk around. She's. Do you have any other cats? We have two cats. Yeah, they have a love-hate relationship. Those cats with her. Yep. Yeah. Hi, pretty girl. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, it's the best. If you're ever sad, you just pick her up, and she gives you a hug, and you feel better. Yep. Right. What's that? It's such a great story. Thank you. I think so too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I do. I know. She's really small. She only weighs 10 pounds, maybe 11. Yeah, my cats are bigger than her. <laughs> Hi.